Welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We've got second quarter earnings from IonQ. It's the business story behind one stock on the move. I'm Corey Johnson, Chief Market Strategist for the Futurum Group. IonQ, interesting company, the only pure play in quantum computing in the markets right now. It's not a huge company, but I thought it's really worth interesting. And Q2 earnings, maybe not so important. You just want to check in with these guys and see that they're on track with what they're developing. They've already had some fantastic scientific achievements, but there's a lot more on the way. So one of those uh, was announced this morning. They, invented a, they announced a, a novel low overhead approach to partial quantum error correction. And essentially it's, it's, a, it's a, both a hardware and software solution to the problems that come up in quantum com computing, but it means that they can solve these problems without having to rely on really heavy machinery or heavy processing of these, uh, these mistakes that happen. And the result is that uh, this error correction uh, will allow them, it really gives them an order of magnitude more efficient error correction than any other techniques known today for the future of quantum computing. Now they already have products in the market. Their Harmony and Aria and Forte products have been developed. They've sold single digits of those um, devices, but the big machines um, re relying on these future um, scientific advancements are really the big deal here. And, the, the big number to keep in mind, of course, going forward is when they want what they say they're going to get to, and they've got a, an R&D system that they actually say they've done in practice here, and they actually got a photo of it in their presentation today of a 64 barium ion chain, which has never been done before. Um, now, they've already uh, got their 36 uh, uh, barium ion chain algorithmic qub qubit, um, uh, or their ion cube forte device out there in the marketplace. Um, now, a qubit is, is the, is, I'm not gonna explain quantum computing, because I can't explain quantum computing. But essentially, um, the gates that, that govern uh, all computing right now is on or off uh, in a series of, of ones or zeros. But qubits is a two-state quantum mechanical system that, that uh, both has on and off in, in different states. Imagine sort of the difference between a, a flat piece of paper or even a light switch in an actual cube where you've got things going in different directions and different possibilities with every single um, uh, piece of information. It's it's so much more powerful, but the, 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 the challenges in making these things are so great. No company's been able to achieve it yet, except INQ starting to have some success. And that's why people are watching this business. Um, and they talked about in this new paper how they're using something called Clifford Gates. It's this error correction scheme um, known as Clifford Noise reduction and um, it's it's really remarkable breakthrough they published a paper which I can't begin to make sense of but uh, it's one to keep an eye on the stock was up four percent in after hours trading not a big move indeed for a stock that's down 56 percent in the last year but they they marshal ahead with a, a big cash balance on hand uh, they've got over 400 million dollars in cash in the books and uh, they're they're moving ahead to develop these devices and they've uh, they've achieved as, as they talk about their timelines, of course, we want to listen to hear if they meet their timelines, but they have built all, uh, beaten all of the goals they've set for themselves publicly over the course of the last few years. And it sounds like, from the CEO, I'll let you listen to what he had to say, it sounds like Peter Chapman, CEO, saying uh, their customers are already interested in kicking the tires on what they're about to develop next at IonQ. We see two different uh, kind of things customers are interested in. One is, is quantum networking and one is quantum computing or application development. Um, it's a little confusing um, because both of them require quantum computers. Um, one is the, with the purpose of doing networking and communication and, uh, and the other one is doing, you know, it has an interest in applications, but both require quote systems. So that part of it can be confusing. When for instance, when we were talking about um, Forte enterprise sales, those are largely customers interested in, in um, uh, compute, not networking. So the Arlis is, is a case where we're building systems, but now for their, in, their primary interest is networking. Um, and so we also see, um, you know, increased interest in um, the applications and the compute space as well. And as I mentioned, we'll talk about the first of those coming up at the next earnings call. And what a tantalizing note. They've got more coming on the next earnings call uh, with one of their first uh, big uh, developments on a customer uh, basis. We'll see about that. Uh, but I've got a, one number that means a whole lot in your big drill down earnings takeaway for this quarter from IonQ when the drill down continues. The drill down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate 
and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So just reported Q2 earnings for IonQ, and it doesn't seem that anything has slipped in terms of their timeline for developing uh, pure quantum computing. This is the only quantum computing pure play out there in the markets. So your essential summary of what mattered today wasn't really quarterly numbers today. It was their announcement that they've come up with this partial quantum error correction, uh, the likes of which has never been seen before and might help them get ahead in the race to a quantum computer. But I promise you one byte, the number that means a whole lot, it's 64. They gave us a 35-bit computer uh, in the market, but now they say their 64-qubit their 64 machine is due to be uh, released in 2025, and they swear they're going to get this thing done on time. We shall see. Uh, thanks for listening to Drill Out Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Drill Out Earnings is part of 6.5 Media. And check me out on X at Corey TV, on Instagram and TikTok uh, uh, at Drill Down Pod. And of course, uh, all kinds of uh, earnings news and lots more at the Drill Down Earnings page on YouTube.